you an idea of how much a uniform division officer works at the White House in those eight years that I was there, my base pay was about $40,000 a year. I made over $70,000 a year every year that I worked there. So I was there all the time. And I saw many, many acts of incredibly bad behavior on Mrs. Clinton's part. Now, everybody understands that President Bill Clinton conducted himself in a, in a very bad way when it came to women. And unfortunately, that's one of my claims to fame is, is that I'm the first employee of the U.S. Secret Service who was ever compelled to testify against a sitting president in a criminal case, and that was the Monica Lewinsky case. I was subpoenaed six times. So when you hear somebody question my honesty, let me see their subpoenas. I was also ordered to testify against, I was also ordered to testify by uh, Supreme Court Justice Chief Rehnquist. In my experiences with the Clintons, um, I had to give much testimony about the President's bizarre behavior. Now can you imagine, you join the Secret Service to be a police officer and protect people, and you've got to explain what the President was doing with an intern, which you saw, an intern that was more than half his age, in his early she was in her early 20s, he was about 50. This is not something you ever wanted to put on a resume. But, with that said, the real Mrs. Clinton that I saw is distant, cold. Nothing like you heard in these fantasy speeches. She's somebody who is clearly, clearly, and I witnessed this over eight years, clearly hostile towards the law enforcement and the military. One of the stories I tell in my book is she got so angry one time that she hit a Secret Service agent in the back of the head with a Bible. Now, you're going to say, Gary, were you there? No, I wasn't. I stood post with the guy three days later. <laughs> And he told me the whole story. And I know it was investigated by the inspectors. It's true, like many of the other things I described. What would, what would possess a first lady walking down the West Colonnade to look a uniform division officer in the eye and tell him to go F himself? Think about that. That's who the Democrats want to be the next president of the United States. And it's appalling. When I tell you she's hostile towards the military and law enforcement, I lived it for eight years. One of the other things I want, want you to, I want to make clear to you about Mrs. Clinton is there's two sets of rules. There's the, the rules for the Clintons, which basically means they get away with everything. And then there's the rule and the law for everybody else, and that we're held, held accountable to. I worked with a, a federal air marshal who, about four years ago, made a bad mistake. This gentleman posted his schedule on the side of his refrigerator, the schedule of where he was going that month. He made the mistake of telling his supervisor, that he put the schedule on the refrigerator. They investigated him, and then they fired him. The information on the refrigerator was not classified. It was called SSI. Uh, it's below uh, classified material, but it's stuff that's important to keep out of the view of the public. They fired this guy after five years. Mrs. Clinton had 110 classified emails on her personal server. If she is so qualified because she was a U.S. Senator, how come she did not know or she just ignored, which is clearly what happened. She just ignored the rules for you and I and for everybody else that was in the federal government and set up her own server. And she didn't do that so you wouldn't know about her yoga. She did it so you wouldn't see the emails. And I promise you, in, in my experiences, in those eight years and, and what I've seen since then, if those emails are ever found, you will be stunned what's on there. Because everything that comes out of their mouth is a lie. And her husband's scandals, if you look at that, if you looked at him and e Googled and emailed uh, President Clinton's name and the intern's name, every scandal comes up. And you can't, you couldn't fit all these scandals on two sheets of paper or single space. It's insane. And the fact that this is the person that the Democrats want to move forward and become President of the United States, it's like we're living in a fantasy world. The last thing I'd like to mention to you, um, again, about her honesty. Name me one time when anybody ever saw or said anything that, that you could believe. And this is coming from somebody who, just as a reminder, I got where I am by taking a polygraph test and a lie detector, detector test. I got in the U.S. Air Force by passing an incredible uh, barrage of psychological tests. And I got in the U.S. Air Marshals because of the skills I took from the, uh, uh, from the Secret Service. Nobody's ever questioned my honesty up until now uh, when I wrote this book, but that's the liberal media and, and uh, Mrs. Clinton supporters, and, and I don't, don't put any uh, credence in there questioning me because they won't give me a chance to defend myself. And I will tell you, if I got the 10 minutes on one of those shows that I needed, I could defend myself just like I'm basically doing now. The last thing I want to say about Mrs. Clinton is 
if you think you're going to get anything different than what we saw when we when the country elected Bill Clinton back in the early 90s, you got Bill and Hillary. If you elect Hillary Clinton, you're going to get Hillary and Bill. And my first question is, if he moves back into the White House, what steps are going to be taken to protect the women, the young women that work in that White House? We saw what he did when he was president. Thank you for your time. Last week.